welcome to all today's class about nanotechnology this class will be presented by dr s kartika rani assistant professor department of physics cpa college bodi nayaknor what is nanotechnology nanotechnology is the engineering of functional systems at the molecular scale which are smaller than 100 nanometers it is the construction items from the bottom up using techniques and tools being developed today to make complete high performance products nanometer is 1 billion of a meter the width of an average hair is 1 lakh nanometers human blood cells are 2000 to 500 nanometer long a strand of dna has a diameter of 2.5 nanometer carbon nanotubes are long thin cylindrical nano structures which are allotropes of carbon they are hexagonal lattices of graphite rolled with ends covered by half a florence molecule there are two types single wall nano tube multi wall nano tube single wall zigzag armature chiral vector zigzag rolled up graphite sheet armature graphite sheet rolled in a 30 degree chiral angle chiral vector it is rolled up graphite sheet at an angle at the axis of the nano tube multi wall it bend carbon nanotubes that have magnetic moments and thermal stability it combine carbon nanotubes and fluorescence which are covalently bonded to the outer side wall they are field emitters it stack graphene layers that behave as metallic conductors of electron properties strength nanotubes are strong hard and stiff from the covalent bonds formed between the carbon atoms kinetic in the inner nanotubes slide using almost no friction within the outer shell which creates a linear or rotational bearing electrical the unique symmetry of an electronic structure makes it in a semiconductor thermal because they exhibit ballistic construction that are excellent conductors applications nanotechnology is used in security sensor communication environment renewable energy remediation antimicrobial packaging medicines etc security sensors in order to protect biological and chemical threats nano sensors are used to detect radioactive materials or toxin at the molecular and atomic level in public water systems sensor can detect and detect small amounts of contaminations communication to protect computers and networks from attack transistor like nanoscale devices are integrated into the systems making it impossible to crack the system environment renewable energy the development of solar panel to collect excessive energy and convert it to hydrogen and then store it remediation to clean up environmental problems nanoparticles from many contaminants and sends mercury vapor in the air in medicine detection and diagnosis regeneration treatments food edible edible food films kills bacteria and detects the presence of e coli bacteria nano enhanced back various keep food fresher brand production and pesticide re- reduction benefits reduce water storages reduction of infectious disease improve prices of electronic devices conserve energy protect environment improve medical research and healthcare thank you to all